Hey everybody, welcome back to Courtney's Life. Today I have a new video for you. Um, I decided with my cousin's vote of confidence in me, she, my cousin Summer, she suffers from migraines. She has for a long time. She's even gotten Botox and she said it's, excru it's excruciatingly painful. There you go. And she said that it's very painful. So one thing that she has heard of is getting your doth, I think they're pronounced, pierced. She decided um, because there was a piercing place that has Wacky Wednesday and they give like a $10 discount for piercings. She really wanted me to go with her. So I'm like, okay, fine, whatever. I'm going to do it. And then she asked me if I was going to get anything pierced. Mind you, I haven't had anything pierced for 25 years. When I was one, I got my ears pierced. My mom had my ears pierced. I don't have any earrings in right now. But my mom had my ears pierced there. And so I'm like, I've, I have tattoos. Um, so And they say that the pain is kind of goes hand in hand with tattoos. Like certain areas of piercings will be as excruciatingly painful as your worst tattoo. But I'm like, you know, there. I feel like there's a difference between a needle that's, you know, putting ink in your skin compared to like a needle going through your body and making a hole in your body. So um, I feel like there's a big difference there. She did ask me if I wanted to get anything done and I told her one thing I always wanted to get done um, was my nose. I wanted to get my nose pierced and as you can see I got my nose pierced Was not as painful as I thought it was gonna be like the way I imagined it to to feel wasn't that bad and I, Honestly, this is I got this done on October 16th 2019 and today is I believe it's the 18th today October 18th and my nose feels normal. I don't even like, it doesn't even feel like I got a piercing. That's, <laughs> it just, it feels fine. I'm cleaning it, um, soap and water they say to clean it with. I'm like, right now, doesn't even bug me. I don't even feel it. So, and I like the way it looks on me. <laughs> I think it looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. I know I'm looking at my phone screen cause I the film with my phone and I gotta keep remembering to look in the camera but I like to look at myself when I'm videotaping. That's why I'm not staring at this, the camera lens all the time. Okay, so the other thing that she wanted me to do, or she asked me if I was gonna get done, is am I gonna get my doth pierced with her? And I was like really hardcore debating on this. I know it helps headaches. I get headaches, I get vertigo a lot. So um, yeah, I kinda just went with the flow. And got my doth pierced. <laughs> but yeah, it seems to be healing good. Um, this little ball part that's here, which I think is what closes the earring so it doesn't, you know, slide off. This ball part was up here this morning in this fold. And I was sleeping on it. And that was painful. So I literally had to take it and move, you know, move the ball back which I thought would hurt a lot because you're moving it in the hole that was just pierced. Cringeworthy, right? But um, it, it's sore, it hurts, it's sore. But it's not like, oh my God, I'm dying pain. It's not like that. But I feel like it's healing pretty well. Um, and I have like, cause this is a standard piercing that they give you when you get it done. I have a different piece of jewelry I'm looking at that I want to put there when it's healed they say it has to heal for eight weeks same thing with the nose before I can this is their standard I had like three choices of colors I could choose from and my favorite color is blue so of course I went with light blue because that's what they had otherwise I had light pink and I think a clear color or something possibly and as you guys can see I have straightened my hair uh, my hair straightener I feel is kind of ancient because 
I've had it since I was a kid and um, I need to upgrade because it's not exactly um, straightening my hair very well like I'd like it to because it's still it kept there's still a lot of wave down here and it's not straight of course I straightened this is from yesterday so I did sleep on it so that's probably why it doesn't have as much straight you know straight straightening it didn't keep straight I don't know how you say it um, overnight but I can tell with straightening it how long my hair actually has like grown out because um, when it's all curl which I will insert like I have a picture of this side straightened and this side not straightened. So I'll insert those pictures so you can see the difference. Like when it's curled, like naturally, um, even brushed, it just, it doesn't look good and right now it doesn't look good anyway because of the blue my blue has been of course washing out but I still have a lot of light tint blue in it and it just it looks kind of funny and I do have um, right here I do have a box of hair dye that I am going to do my hair with again but I'm not sure when I'm going to redye it because I want to make sure that this heals because I don't think having chemicals on my hair with an open wound close by is a smart idea so I kind of want that my ear to heal to heal before I dye my hair and I like dyeing my hair my natural hair color is more like my eyebrows and I actually have, like, I do have a little bit of natural hair color on top. Um, I'm technically a dirty blonde, light brownish color. But when I am my full-on um, natural color, it just looks, my hair just always looks dirty even when it's washed. So I tend to dye it the light colored blonde because I like how it looks. And I did do my makeup yesterday, a lot of my uh, mascara is washed off but my, my eyeliner likes to stay I feel like I keep getting like gunk built up there from the makeup most of my makeup has washed off I've got acne boo acne hate acne but yeah so that's an update I got my nose and my doth I think that's what it's called pierced so I'm healing good it feels good um as I said, it's, they said it's equivalent to the pain of your worst tattoo. Um, this is my lion and my turtle watercolor. And the most pain I had was right on top and then going down toward um, the armpit area. All these dots or, you know, the circles, watercolor here. That was really painful. I had, um, I had like a shooting pain going up my neck into my ear and it felt like a vibration and it really, it really did hurt. But I, for me, when I get tattoos, I tend to sit like a rock because, um, I don't want, I don't want the artist to screw up or I don't want to move while they're, you know, got the needle in my arm kind of thing. So, but yeah, these, these tattoos here are going to be, are the start of my, um, watercolor sleeve, mostly animal theme. There is one little thing that's thrown in there. That's a mermaid. That's going to represent my niece. Um, I'm very excited to get those things added to my arm. I do have, uh, have a, I'm like, let me see if I could see the camera. I do have a browning buck with daddy's girl on it. I'm going to have my tattoo artist add watercolor to it. Um, of course, that tattoo there represents my dad. And the lion on my shoulder here represents my fiancé. And my turtle represents my mom. My mom loves turtles. She gets 
giddy and squealy and everything when she sees baby sea turtles. And it's just the funniest thing in the world to watch. Remember, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below, and hit that notification bell if you want to see the next videos I upload. Have a great day, everybody.